I've said it before and I'll say it again, indie games are the heart of the gaming industry and perfectly outline the passion that I love to see behind projects in the modern age of gaming. In light of the AAA realm being mostly empty right now, I figured why not make a new series on the channel where I take a spotlight to indie games I'm playing currently. Before we get into today's game, I wanted to say if you have any stellar indie games that are worth a play, let me know so I can give them a spotlight in the future as well. But enough of the chit chat, let's get into today's game, Battle Chef Brigade. Battle Chef Brigade is a brawler and puzzle video game developed by Trinket Studios and published by Adult Swim Games. Trinket Studios, interestingly enough, is a team of three dudes who have a knack for making app-based games that wanted to take it a step further with a release on consoles back in 2017. I won't lie, my initial reaction to this game was that its art style was generally underwhelming. It looked like one of those indie titles that visually may be appealing but gameplay wise would lack in a lot of areas. And because of that, I put this game off for the longest time, but boy was I wrong. Whoa. The game has a uniquely drawn art style to it that makes you feel like you're playing a comic book slash manga. It's an art style that you don't know if you're gonna like for a prolonged length of gameplay, but I was still pleasantly surprised by how well it holds up along the runtime of the game. The title is about 9 hours base game and about 11 hours for 100%, which is right around where I like my indie games to sit lengthwise. Not long, but not too short either where you feel like you're not getting your money's worth. The game story follows Mina Han, a young girl from Windy Village, and Thrash, a boisterous orc. Together they enter a tournament in hopes of being named new members of the Battle Chef Brigade, competing in cook-offs where they must slay monsters to collect ingredients and prepare dishes. From a player standpoint, the gameplay loop revolves around two separate segments, the monster hunting and the cooking, both of equal importance to the game and its loop. Let's start with the cooking in the game. You start cooking by dropping ingredients into your cookware, like Tetris, with ingredients in the 4 times 4 cooking zone where you stir them around like Poyo Poyo, aligning flavor gems and matching them to the same color of gems to increase the rank and quality of your dish. This is where Trinket Games starts to show their app game side of themselves and it really works in this game. Taking into consideration how you match ingredients ingredients and what monsters give you which flavor gems is a uniquely addicting gameplay loop that keeps you on your toes out hunting and even more so in the kitchen. I'll be dead face locked into this game during the tournament rounds and once it ends I realized how zoned in I was. It was like I was playing Smash. Along with the typical Tetris style cooking, you also get a myriad of different unique items and scenarios that shake up the competition and make things significantly harder in the mid to late game. Basically taking grandma level Candy Crush and actually making it intriguing for a game like this. Moving along to the next segment in the game, the hunting section, which is equally if not more addicting than the cooking portion. In order to collect the correct ingredient to make matches that you need in the cooking minigame, you have to find and kill monsters out in the various battlefields. The best way I can describe the combat is a platformer based street fighter moveset. It focuses on fluidity of movement in order to maximize fun, and figuring out which attacks string together to make the best combos. There's also combat upgrades that change your moveset here and there, as well as weapon upgrades for those of the cast who have them. Soaring around the wild searching for what exact monster that has the ingredients you need is an immersive feeling to say the least, and with several different monster types, the amount of dishes you can cook are endless. Outside of that core gameplay loop, the story is the next thing up, and it's surprisingly very endearing and intriguing. You mainly play through Mina, a family-owned restaurant cook who decides to join the brigade's cooking tournament in hopes of becoming a brigade herself. With the help with the help of new friends and with the backdrop of a grueling mystery, the game tries its hardest to keep you locked in. There's not a lot of variation of location, but I will say that the addictive gameplay loop excuses this game from being one of adventure and open world orientation. But it still would have been cool to see more in the way of set design from this game's art style considering how cool it is, but it is what it is. You get what you get with indie games. There's side jobs that you can do in order to earn more coins to spend at the local store, where you can find spices, pots, and pans to help you on your journey as a chef as you continue throughout the tournament. Overall, a very binge-worthy game experience and one that definitely is worth sticking your teeth into. Before conclusion time rolls around, let's take an even deeper look into the developers and their history. Trinket Studios was founded in 2012 by former members of Wide Load Games, a company that was still around in the early 2000s with a lackluster run of titles, to say the least. 
apparently why load games which is a crazy that? name by the way was founded by the creator of bungie the people who made the legendary halo franchise as well as the shit destiny franchise it's actually very interesting considering alexander soropin is that how you Seropine, later sold why load games to disney four years after its creation under the management of disney they released two underwhelming titles and then disney ended the company promptly like three years later it's sad to see companies absorbed by larger companies like disney or google just for them to not do much with them but it's also empowering to know that developers with unique ideas come out of these companies with plans of their own so shout out to tom eric and ben give it up for them guys you've made a fantastic game that i'm looking forward to more from I've heard a lot of people calling for a Battle Chef Brigade 2, which I would definitely be excited to see. Maybe some more dishes, some more playable characters, an enhancement to how the gameplay is, or maybe a completely new title from Trinket Studios. Regardless of what it is, I'm excited for the future of Trinket Studios, and congratulations for being the very first game in the Indie Spotlight series. Again, if you have any indie titles that you think are amazing, please let me know in the comments so that I can add it to the next indie spotlight. Indie games are the future, and if we don't prop them up properly, then we're doing all of ourselves a disservice. So thank you for watching this indie spotlight. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. I release videos every Sunday. I guess I should cook some food. This is me cooking. Uh -huh. I'm cooking right now. Food, food, food. Fun, 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 fun.